Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting these two lab tables. Um, right, what we did in the previous video is we painted the, um, I don't want to say the uh, cafeteria picnic tables. Um, what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to use similar colours for the legs. In fact, we're going to use exactly the same colour for the legs. But um, we're going to do the tabletop in a different colour. So on the already we have the Hydra Turquoise from Army Painter and we have a little bit of Stormhost Silver but we don't have a great deal of the Stormhost Silver so I'm going to put a little bit more down because hey, we need more and basically the reason it's still on the paint the palette is because I did this video straight after the previous video so I'm doing them all at the same time near enough so we have um, two of these we are going to be using different colors as I said for this, these particular uh, minis I'm not going to do them exactly the same because I don't want to but I do want to do a little bit of um, a similarity just so you know that they're all in the same blooming place <laughs> so what we're using for this colour or what we're using for this colour or what we're using this colour for rather I'll get this right eventually don't worry about it <laughs> Is the legs. There we are. That's it. We have the legs here, but we're going to do it in this colour. And again, you heard all the complaints in the previous video. If you didn't see the previous video, um, then have a look at those one, that one first, and you'll find out why these still look a little bit iffy and not straight. They've not been cleaned up properly. Um, there is my reason for not taking all the mold lines off, not smoothing out these imperfections, um, and why the legs aren't straight. These are my reasons. And uh, I'm standing by them because these are my models. If you have better, if you've had better luck with your models than I've had with these, then fair play to you. Clean them up as good as you want. And if you if you still want to make them look spot on, then again go for it. Just because I've decided not to bother trying to clean them up any further doesn't mean to say that you don't have to it just means that you know I'm not trying to make a silk purse out of a cell's ear I am not wasting time trying to polish turd <laughs> oh dear right so yeah, we're going to go through all the legs in these. Um, I'll do the bottom as well. Because I can keep them upside down so that they can be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? so they can be allowed to dry properly that's not got enough the silver in it that is quite a thick coat that I'm gonna brush a bit more of the stormhole silver into this because it's not looking right Oh, yeah. 
Um, if I, I want it, I do want it a metallic looking colour. Um, so just painting it a very strong um, turquoise colour isn't going to give that metallic look that I'm looking after. So you know, although I'm not trying to. Um, I'm not going overboard with these minis. Um, the fact is, I still want them to look a certain way. So, if they don't look a certain way, then they are going to get adjusted. And I'm not really too fussed as to whether or not they all look the same shade if I mix a fresh batch of paint or we add a little bit more paint of one paint to it than others and they look slightly different colours I'm not bothered um, I'm just going to my theory behind it is it's not the same bit of metal that it's, they're, they're all made from so they are going to have slight differences there we are now then that's that bit done next we're going to do a little bit more metallic stuff this time the metallic colour is the white the only white I have is this one it's uh, Citadel's uh, White Scar. I picked up the wrong version of the White Scar, so that's why it's it's this. I'm going to bang some of that on here. And then into that, I'm going to put some of the Stonehole Silver There we are and that's probably not um, going to all come off by wiping it on the huge so what I'm going to do is use this brush put it on the top. Now if you saw the doors you will notice that I did the doors in different colours and I'm going to match those colours into this tabletop. Um, it's not a case of divisions or anything like that you know like the orange division the orange is one division of the lab and you know orange is what's like food preparation area and blue is um, scientific or whatever I don't know and with that I'm just trying to get all the white paints off this particular brush I don't want to waste any oops I just heard something downstairs <laughs> okay so I'll get into the paint that I'm using to actually paint Oops. so we'll just run this all around the edge of the table at the moment um, and then when this when this is done we will continue with the design on the top because that is something that I want to bring out. So as I said, we're going to be adding the same colours of the um, same colours into the design for the top of these tables as we did for the for the doors. So I'll put this on fast forward because it is quite a boring part and I don't want to be waffling all the way through it 
and uh, when you come back these will be done right so I'll let you listen to some music now Okay, now with this, we're going over just the edges around the design. I wanted to make a quite a lighter light color. Um, in the background for putting the um, the accent colors on, I want them fairly bright, which is why I went over everything in white. But at the moment now, what I'm trying to do is um, just make the white a little bit stronger on this. I'm not looking for perfect white. Um, if some of the grey comes through in the back then that's fine because I want it to look metal and uh, you might give it a nice touch if it doesn't look completely solidly metallic white Underneath, I'm not going to bother any further with. As I've said before, they're not brilliant minis that require, uh, that require a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of attention to the detail. Um, I'm going to leave those for the actual. I'm going to leave all that business for the um, what should we call it? The main minis. You know, the hero characters and the um the whatchamacallits that's in this game what are they called the lab technicians and the security guards they're the ones that are going to get my attention to detail um obviously if they if there's better quality um, terrain minis then yeah I will add those to my um, list of minis to uh, concentrate on but these no the, the, these tables are like down and probably the worst minis the worst piece I've had from Mantic. I'm not at all happy with them. I'm just going to give these a couple of um, around a couple of times, but I say I want them to look. metallic white rather than just plain white that will do for them I may give them another coat yet depends how they dry but um, at the moment I'm not really um, I'm not going to lose any sleep over them. I'm not going to try and 
try and make them into anything more than the actual yeah, which is just a lump of a badly shaped lump of plastic. And you can see I made a little bit of a mistake where I put too much paint on where I didn't want it, so I'll just give it a rub off with my thumb. You can do things like that. Um, these lights are probably not doing the doing any justice to what I'm doing, but there again, saying that. I'm not really doing much to them to be honest so I don't know where they can actually see where I'm going with this and how it's actually looking and I apologize if the camera's a little bit wobbly as well I'm gonna try a new setup I'm not quite sure whether it's going to work or not but um, It's doing, you know, what I want it to do, but until I get around to editing, because I'm not watching, I'm not looking into the viewfinder or the on the screen of the camera to see whether or not it's really badly wobbling. I just keep looking up every now and again to make sure I've got everything in frame. But uh, so with this being on the table and not moving it, it's it's always in frame. So. And as I said, it's not, you know, even squeezing, you know, pressing the, the legs are actually bending them out of shape because they, that used to being in a particular shape and it's annoying me. I may actually go under over the bottom of the table again because looking at it here. It's not looking brilliant, so I'm just giving it another going over. There we are. Now I'm going to have to go over that leg again. So that's that. Um, so again, I may. I'm going to, have to keep going backwards and forwards over this. So I will come back um, when it's finished and I like listen to some music and put these on high speed so you can keep up with what I'm doing. basically all we're doing for this particular part of the see what I mean they bend and stay where they're bent to and unfortunately that's not what we want them to do oh ah, well so Right, so we've had, we've got the white done and the turquoise for the legs. 
And um, what we did in previous um, videos for the doors is we had an orange mixed with the um, silver colour and we had a blue mixed with the silver colour. So I'm going to add more of the Stormhost silver onto the palette because if we don't use it now we'll use it possibly the next time or we'll probably use it in the next video. So, the blue we're going to be using is this one, Calador Sky. And just in case you're wondering, that was only sneezing. And the orange we're going to be using is Trolls, oops, Troll Slayer Orange. There we go. So, we'll add a little bit of the Calador Sky onto our palette and into that mix. We're not going to be using this for anything else. So we're mixing I've mixed way too much there because so I've put in way too much of this kind of guys so we're not going to be using it for anything else I don't think. Oh well while that one is still wet, so we'll start with the, we'll do it with this one. Okay, and round here we're going to be going over and painting even into the little recess there. We're going to be painting the Camador sky into all of this central area. And with this being face open no vertical space isn't Right, going to be hitting equally. I'm not going to try any form of fancy highlighting for this. Um, what I'm going to do afterwards is just give it a bit of a dry brush and the integrity of it with um, silver. So I'm going to make sure that all of this, and I'm going to put a little bit of water into this. I'm going to take it off the pallet. And hopefully that will, by process of, oh, what's, what's it called? It actually finds its own way and goes where it needs to go. Oh, I don't know. Now, yeah, we probably will have to go back into the white just to touch up a little bit here in the. Retrieve this in um, real time. Now it's 
the orange again. We're using Troll Slayer Orange for this and we don't want much. And into that I'm going to put some of the silver. It does dug it down a little bit but not to worry. Now we change over and we go with this and add the orange into these little grooves here before we do anything else. And now we can carry on and add this everywhere. Spot of water to make it a lot more fluid. So that's the orange bit done. Um, I don't know why I put it so far up there. So what I'm going to go do now is go back into the white and touch up as many places where I've um, touched on the white parts with the orange. It's not um, an easy job this bit because the white doesn't cover terribly well. Uh, I think what I should have done, as I said, just going on to white straight off, I probably should have used a pale, pale colour, something like uh, powdered witch flesh, and don't use that instead of white because this particular white is not terribly good for covering things up. Um, but Oh, well, I suppose it's brilliant in an airbrush because you, you want it really thin in one of those apparently but they're not it's not a brilliant colour for um, applying with a brush and trying to cover other darker colours So I'm just dotting it on so that the colour actually builds up. Okay, there we are. That's that. So now that that bit's done with the um, orange, I'm going to go back to the blue. I'm going to get my dry brush and the Stormhost Silver. And just give it a quick dry brush all over, making sure that the edge of the table gets the greatest dry brush. Not that you're going to see it, but from a distance and 
you know it might just like pop a little bit there we go so we've done that with the uh, blue we're going to do the same thing with the white but we've got to make sure that the white is dry first it is we're going to do it straight off now i'm not bothering trying to make it look spot on we can hopefully hide any of the orange that's in the white with this dry brush and then we'll give it a heavier dry brush again round the edge to give it like a it's kind of like a, a, an edge highlight kind of thing but not if you get me drift you're just picking out the edge of it and that will do so there we are. that's the second two tables for Mantic Star Saga I hope you've enjoyed these two videos there are more to come um, I'm going to take the excuse I'm going to not take the excuse um, I'm going to make use of the time I'm quarantined um, <laughs> I'm uh, mm, I've been quite basically on isolation for 12 weeks. This started a few weeks ago. Um, I think I'm towards the end of my third week of isolation. It'll be June before I manage to get out of the house properly again. But um, what we're going to try and do is get as much done of Star Saga as I can over these next... Oh eight nine weeks okay so that's it for these tables so far we've done those two and those two next we have these desks that we're going to be doing these are going to be a little more detailed because of a little better quality um, I'm still not quite sure what that is but join us next time We'll make a start on these two i may only do one in a video i'm not sure yet but as i said that is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now